Perfectly sharp corners look fake. What if you could add realistic corner wear and destruction like this directly inside Unreal Engine in seconds? Hello everyone, Hojdi here. In this video, I'm gonna start with these clean meshes and I'll use my Houdini powered damage tool set to add realistic corner wear and chipping to them. It automatically detects sharp corners based on the parameters you set and procedurally generates realistic destruction. And the best part is you never have to open Houdini. It's all packaged into a simple HDA you can use directly in Unreal. So let's do it. Corner damage settings. First of all, make sure that you have Houdini Engine plugin installed on your Unreal Engine. If you don't know how to install it, I have a video on this subject, so make sure to watch it. Now all we gotta do is to drag the damage tool HDA into the level. It takes a few seconds and now it's connected. So scroll down until you get to the Houdini input section. Under mesh main, set it to world input. Click on start selection. Select your mesh and click on use current. So let's hide the mesh and here under damage a let's enable corner damage a now if we look closely we can see a little bit of damage on the corners so the parameters have two sections corner selection and damage settings let me start with the damage settings i'll show you the corner selection parameters on these other meshes so we can increase the amount, for example, let's set it to something around 10 to better see it. And now all the edges have damage on them. These two parameters can give us random damage on each corner. For example, let's set the amount to 10. And if I set the min amount multiplier to 0.5, now the corner damages are between 5 and 10 these are multipliers so if i set it to 0.5 it means that the minimum amount of the damage will be 5 if i set the max amount to something higher like 1.5 now the damages are random between 5 and 15. right now the damages are very clean we can use the damage nose parameters to control that. So let's set the amplitude to something higher like 10. And now it looks so much better. And as you can see some of the corners are really small but some others are really large that's because of the min and max amount multiplier values we have here we can control the size of the noise so let's set it to five this is what happens and if i set it to something higher this is what happens so we can have different looks and we can offset it if you want to in different axes so now let's disable corner damage a go under damage b and enable corner damage B. The parameters are the same, but the damage looks a little bit different. For example, let's increase the amount to 10. And as you can see, it's a little more curved. We can set the minimum to something lower like 0.3 and the maximum to 1.2. We can increase the noise amplitude and let's decrease the size to 5. This looks so much better now. Damage A and Damage B both have corner edge and surface damage. They just look a little bit different. So okay, that's the damage settings parameters. Now let's go over the corner selection parameters. Corner selection parameters. Let's first clear the selection. Unhide this mesh. And 
I'm gonna show the selection parameters on this mesh. Or let's do it on this mesh. So, start selection, click on it and use current. Now, let's hide the main mesh and here's the result. Let's go up and let's set the amount to something lower like 1.5. If your mesh disappears, that's most probably because of the noise settings. So let's decrease the amplitude to something like 5 and the mesh has returned. Okay. Let's set it to, let's set the amount to 3. Yeah, that's better. Okay. To control which corners we want to damage, we have a pretty handy option up here called the debug option. So let's select it and set it to, right now we are using corner damage B, let's set it to corner damage B. And as you can see, a sphere appears on every corner that the damage tool wants to damage. So now we can see which corners are going to be selected. So let's go over to corner settings. The first options are curvature min and curvature max. So, for example, let's set the min to 1.5. And now, as you can see, some of the corners are deselected. And if I set the curvature max to 1.6, no, nothing happens. If I set the curvature min to 0.5, and curvature max to 0.6 we can see that now none of the edges are selected let's increase the curvature max to 1 and now only these corners are selected so we can use these parameters to select which corners are being damaged based on the curvature so let's set it to 2 now all of the corners are selected. The next option is the random selection option. So let's enable it. Right now the percentage is set to one. So if I set it to 50, it randomly selects 50% of the corners. And we can control which corners are being selected by the seed number. So let's set it to something else. As you can see, as we change the seed number, the corners which are selected change and we can control the percent too for example let's set it to 25 or 80 yeah that's the random selection parameters let's disable random selection and go over the selection limited area parameters so enable it and as you can see nothing is selected we have two options to select the limited area we want the first one is to use the limit mesh and the second one is to paint vertex color so let's set it to limit mesh scroll down and down here we have the limit area mesh input so let's set it to world input first of all from the quickly add to the project button here under shapes let's add the sphere and I'm gonna put it here so now select the damage tool under limit area mesh click on start selection select the sphere use current and now if I hide the sphere we can see that we only have selected the corners inside the sphere so let's unhide the sphere move it here and as you can see the HDA updates if I hide it we can see that now these corners have been selected let's move it up 
and as you can see the corner selected change now we have only selected the top corners so that is the limited mesh option so let's set it to vertex color hide the damage tool and let's unhide the mesh from here while the mesh is selected let's go to mesh paint mode so there was a problem with the vertex selection of the hda and i just fixed it so select your mesh go to mesh paint mode click on paint first of all make sure to set the paint color to white and click on fill to make the color of all the vertices white then swap the colors and set the strength to one and start painting for example i want this one and this one and this one after you're done with painting go back to the selection mode select the damage tool and click on rebuild and now as you can see the corners which i painted on are selected so we have two options for the selection limited area the vertex color and the limit mesh let's say to limit mesh which is this sphere and another thing is that while the limit area is enabled we also can enable the random selection and right now the percentage is set to 60 so 60% 60 of the corners in this area will be selected and again we can change the curvature min and curvature max at the same time so if i set it to 0.8 we can see that different corners are now selected after we're done with the selection we can disable debug and make sure to hide the mesh because right now they're overlapping and we might not see the damage so hide the mesh and now we have damage on these corners so let's disable random selection and yeah that's the way to do it the corner selection parameters of both damages are the same so whether you're using damage b corner damage or damage a corner damage the selection parameters are the same optimization and material parameters right now the view mode is set to preview this helps with fast iteration between different parameters and changing the values and if i set it to wireframe we can see the result now if i set the view mode to detail view one and wait a little bit we can see now the mesh is final and it looks so much better so let's go back to lit and scroll down we have the optimization parameter here which we can control the triangle percentage right now it's at 100 percent but if i set it to something like 50 percent as you can see it optimizes the mesh so let's set it back to 100 and go to the material tab now we have the option to unwrap the mesh if we want to or change the uv scale with this one for example let's set it to 2 and as you can see it changes let's disable unwrap we have the option to add vertex color so i'm gonna go with red vertex color yeah and now we can use the material function to add material on these damaged areas now 
let's go to the materials folder and use the vertex color material to better see the vertex color so as you can see it add vertex color not only to the damaged areas but also to the edges we can also use these parameters to control how it looks let's set the multiplier to 2 4 8 yeah this looks better we can set the blur amount to 0 or 2 and we can use this ramp to control how it looks yeah so that's it after you're done editing the mesh scroll up and click on bake and it crashed so I spent more than 7 hours figuring out what was wrong and what was causing the crash and finally I fixed it. So let's go ahead and bake it. Select it, scroll up and here click on bake. Let's hide the damage tool and here's the mesh. How to use the material function. Now let's select this one browse the material and assign it to the mesh open the material instance and here open the master material it's a quick cell master material and all we need to do in order to use the vertex colors is to add the material function i've provided with the asset so let's browse to it and here's the material function all we need to do is to add it to the material and connect it in between these two nodes before the main node now I've already done that and here it is I've duplicated the material renamed it to damage and added the function so now if we browse to the material we can see that I've already added a material instance for the damage and it's just the same material as this one I've actually duplicated this material but I've changed the parent to the one we edited and after changing the parents now we have the damage section in the material instance and we can use it to add the damage textures and control the other parameters let's drag this one onto the mesh and let's set the detail normal size to let's set the normal strength to 0.5 and detail normal strength to 0.52 Let's actually scroll down until we get to the normal strength section and let's set it to 0.2. Yeah, that's better. And that's it, click here for more Unreal stuff and thank you so much for watching. Massive shout out to my amazing supporters for making this possible. Like this video, subscribe and join our communities. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.